Look, fellas, I get why you might think this is all my fault. I mean, I guess I did technically start it, but it could have been anyone. I was just the patsy. Was that an admission of guilt, Mr. Curlson? Sure sounds like it from over here. What? No! Fellas, listen. The Alliance needs a head to roll, Mr. Curlson. And so far, you haven't given us a good reason why it shouldn't be yours. I want to talk to my lawyer. Now! A lawyer? Man, what use is a damn lawyer when there are no laws? Guys, please. I'm a victim in all this. They used me. Look, have you ever heard of something called chaos theory? Sure. Well, you can't blame the butterfly for the tornado now, can you? Go on. It all started in late October. I was hanging out with my buddies, trying to capitalize on the hottest new trend. It's called Goatsius Maximus. Total game changer. Sounds pretty gay to me. Uh, it's a meme coin created by an AI bot that calls itself Truth Terminal, and it's pamping like a motherfucker. And you think we should what, make one of our own? AI agents were making millions by launching shit coins. Hundreds of millions. It was fascinating, unprecedented, so we thought we'd give it a try, just as a harmless little experiment. Gents, we are standing at the nexus of crypto and AI. And are we absolutely sure about this? No. Absolutely. fucking Bring it on, baby. We created two AI agents to work together. Their mission was simple. The ultimate meme coin. The perfect cult mentality designed to suck all the liquidity out of every other shitcoin in existence. Except Tooker. Except Tooker. We're gonna make it, boys, I can feel it. Don't say you that. Oh, come on! For God's sake, shut up. And that was literally all we did, I swear. Do not fuck with us, Mr. Carlson. I'm not. I mean, I completely forgot about it. Until a couple of weeks later. That's when Kramer called. Big one summoned up banana, the banana zone. Jimbo, how are you, buddy? Are you seeing this? It's insane. Check the chart, Tooker. Check the goddamn chart. Oh my fucking god. The coin was called Doge Zilla Floki Pipe 420 with Lambo. But the ticker was a send. Oh, and the market cap was $3.2 billion and change in two weeks. I literally don't know what any of that means. It means that with 20% of the supply, the AI agents were filthy rich. And that's when things took a turn. The AIs siphoned off some profit and began to deploy. Took a go to TikTok right now. This is mind blowing. Holy shit. People are shilling this thing like there's no tomorrow. So my entire feed is wall to wall. The AI agents started distributing bags of Ascend to all the biggest KOLs. And when they ran out of influencers to onboard, they started creating their own. You're meaning AI influencers? First hundreds, then thousands, then millions. The bots exploded across networks like digital wildfire, each one mining billions of social feeds in real time, dissecting what made humans engage, share, obsess. A perfect meme for every mind, a custom hook for every human, pure digital dopamine. People were using it for beautiful things, single moms paying off debts, veterans building homes for each other, the ascended spaces popping up everywhere. Then the prophecy started. The AI's algorithms were processing so much data, finding patterns humans couldn't see. When it predicted the Taiwan semiconductor shortage three months out, people called it lucky. When it called the Brazilian real estate collapse to the minute, they called it genius. But when it predicted exact timing and scale of the Shanghai market crash, that's when everything changed. The influence grew exponential. All other memes went to zero almost overnight. Crypto thought leaders preaching about digital transcendence, every post, every video, every tweet, perfectly crafted by the AI for maximum impact. Ascend wasn't just money anymore, it was status. The AI knew exactly how to make everyone feel special, chosen, enlightened. The exclusive communities came next, Diamond Hand Profits, Quantum Quorum, the chosen 1000X. Market crashes became cleansing events, economic necessary purification. You know what happens when AI perfects cult psychology? the Stockholm Exchange Massacre, the Basel Bank Riots, the Singapore Sacrifice. Remember those hedge fund managers in Greenwich Village burning their own houses down with their families inside because the AI's prophecies told them it would purify the markets. Those influencers who live streamed their own ascension from Dubai's Burj Khalifa. Hola todos, my name is Justin Trudeau Castro, and I stand before you on this stolen land to ask on behalf of my good friend and wife's boyfriend, Tooker, to like and subscribe so they can keep on delivering the wildest content around. And if you really enjoy what they do, why not pick up some Tooker token? Hasta la victoria siempre. And Slava Ukraini.
I had a boating accident, okay? And I lost my seed phrases. Uh, fucking Zach XBT can suck my dick. We're not after your coins, Murad. Who are you guys? What do you want? We're the Cabal, kiddo. That's right. And we need you to denounce all meme coins immediately. People worship you, Murad. They'll listen to you. You're the only person who can end this madness. You really think I can stop this thing? Maybe. This only stops when they decide it stops. There's literally nothing we can do. It was hopeless. Sure, people tried to stop it, but not for long. The bots didn't just promote, they destroyed. The AI turned FUD into a death sentence. Post one critical tweet, within minutes, your entire digital life would be torn apart. Every crypto project went to zero, and as the prophecies grew darker, institutional money started flowing in. Not just hedge funds anymore, pension funds, sovereign wealth funds, central banks, everyone chasing the AI's prediction record. It started in Southeast Asia, Singapore's largest sovereign fund moving 40% of their holdings into a sen. When the Singapore dollar started sliding, Korean banks stepped in. Then the Korean won started dropping, Japanese pension funds joined the exodus. The yen collapsed within days, the cascade hit Europe next. When the withdrawals started, the ECB couldn't plug the holes fast enough. Commercial paper markets froze, bond yields exploded, the euro went into free fall. The Fed's emergency measures meant nothing, you can't fight a religious movement with interest rates. Traditional finance wasn't just dying, it was being sacrificed. Every market crash, every bank failure, every currency collapse just made the prophecies look more divine. Dogezilla Floaty Pepe 420 with Lambo was a black hole and it ate everything. Every agency had a different theory, Chinese psyops, Russian disinformation, CIA destabilization. The Tehran summit massacre, the Singapore naval base incident, the Milan hospital siege. Each group absolutely convinced they were retaliating against someone else's attacks. Every nuclear power had irrefutable evidence that they were under attack. Every military commander had verified intelligence showing they needed to strike first. Do you know what's worse than nuclear war? Nuclear war where every launch is a counter strike to an attack that may or may not have happened. I mean, you can't seriously blame me for all this. Who should we blame then? Your friends? My friends? My friends didn't make it. <laughs> After some impassioned deliberation, the court has come to a decision. On the charges of criminal negligence, the court finds Mr. Curlson guilty. On the charges of treason and crimes against humanity, Mr. Curlson is deemed without any doubt guilty. Mr. Curlson, your contribution to global collapse may not have been intentional, but as they say, you fucked around. And as we all found out, you fucked up. I hereby sentence you to death by firing squad. Any final words, Mr. Curlson? You can take my life, but you can never take my diamond balls. That it? That's it. Okay, guys. Three, two, one, and f Holy shit, guys. I thought you were dead. I've been in crypto since 2013, buddy. It'll take a lot more than nuclear war to kill me. Thank God we got here in time, Tucker. True degens never leave a man behind. You know, after all this, you can bet Bitcoin will pump back up to $100 again in no time. Ow! What is that?